Okay guys, so like I said yesterday, I was going to show you the different ways to play the upright bass. There's really two distinctive ways to play it. There's arco playing and then there's pizzicato playing. Arco playing is when you use this thing. It's called a bow. Long piece of wood with strings attached to it and you run rosin along it to get the strings to sound. To uh, make it all sticky on the hair so you can get the string to sound. You put the bow on the string, the space between the end of the neck and the bridge, and you pull. Now, the difficult thing about, and when you're done playing it so that you don't warp the bow, you turn, you turn this little thing until the strings get all loose and wonky. Now, the difficult thing about bow playing is that you got to manipulate it in your hand so that you can so that your hand doesn't cramp up. The biggest problem that I've had with bow playing for years is that I'll just like grip it so tight that my hand will cramp up and I can't do it for more can't play bow for more than like 5 minutes at a time. Which is difficult especially if you play in an orchestra because orchestra it's bow playing all the time. And, and there are two different types of bows. The, bows that I, the bow I was using there is called a French bow and the other bow is a German bow. And the big difference is that where you grip it is there's a big gap where you can just kind of like stick your hand in like that. And it's a different grip. I can't get into it much more than that because I've never used a German bow before. Sorry guys, I think and maybe coming down with some allergy problems. The other way to play it, pizzicato playing, quite simply, you take your fingers, and pluck the string. There are a couple different ways that you can do it. To get the warmest sound possible, you get as much as the pad of your finger across the string as possible. You can play with just the tips of your fingers, more like the bass guitar. This allows more faster playing. And you can also do kind of a slap thing. And tomorrow, since I've shown you those two things, I will show you how to play a song on this thing.